Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of you know what time it is, I don't gotta tell ya. It's 60 formula time baby, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can prevent your Siberian Husky from biting your hands all of the time. If you just got a Siberian Husky or you've had one for a while, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only do they have some of the sharpest little teeth on the entire planet, but they constantly just want to nibble at your fingertips. And if you've owned a Husky puppy for any more than just a few days, you probably have a whole bunch of scars and bites all over your hands. And my Huskies, Britney Spears and Gila, they are not innocent when it comes to biting. I had to train them extensively not to bite my hands. It takes a really long time. But guess what, dude? There's a trick. A trick that will teach your Siberian Husky not to bite you as much. Making it fast and easy for your Husky to understand so that your hands can be healed and free of all of those terrible Husky nibbles and bites. Dude, I blame you for all the scars I got. Yeah, you. It's your fault, dude. Yeah, you. You're guilty. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the truth. The vote is in. You're going to jail. What do you think of that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you want a treat, Broski Maloski? You want a treat? Give me bones. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. You the best. Whoa! <laughs> Britney Spears, look at you being a good fresh McFresh boy. Heck yeah, dude. You was just chilling. You didn't get up and get all frantic and junk. It paid off, didn't it, bro? Yeah, that stuff pays off, dude. Tip number 900,374. Whenever your Siberian Husky does something in real life, like when you're not training them and you like that behavior, go ahead and reward them. Good job. Yeah, you did good. Thank you. You the bomb, bro. You guys are like, all right, 60, get to the mix special sauce. Tell us what special tip is going to prevent our Siberian Huskies from biting us all the time. Well, let's get into it, dude. What is this royal stature you got going on here, Britney Spears? You, you look like a pharaoh. Pharaoh Spears. He's all ears. Okay, so when it comes to Siberian Huskies, there's one thing that people do every single time they bring home a Husky puppy and they start to get bit. It's something that we do naturally as humans. It's just an instinct. And by doing this action, by performing this constantly, which a lot of us do and we don't even know it, you are making the biting process worse. Now, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. You probably didn't know that this is making it worse. So once you cut this out, once you identify and realize this behavior that you're doing, you'll start to see that they're going to stop biting as much as they used to. And when they get older, they're not going to bite at all. And at that point, you're going to thank yourself. You're going to be like, dang, man, I'm happy I watched that 60 formula YouTube channel the other day. Dang, man, I made my husky dang, dang cool, man. So before I teach you guys how how to mitigate the biting, let me tell you exactly what that behavior is. So whenever you're interacting with your Siberian Husky puppy or you're just chilling with them, maybe you're teaching them stuff or you're playing with them, they're going to come at you and try to bite your hand. And one of the first things that you're going to do in response to them coming right for your fingers is this. Oh. Yeah, that right there. Most people are afraid of dogs and how they're gonna interact with their fingers. It's just instinct because our fingers, well, there are sensitive little valuable meat sausages. We can't lose those things or we can't do stuff anymore. So for many of us, whenever our husky puppy reaches out to either interact with our fingers, grab food, they do it quickly because they don't know better. And our first instinct is to pull away very fast. When you take your hand and you pull back really quickly like that, you're teaching a husky puppy that not only are you nervous and not confident around them, but you might also be communicating to them that you're engaging in play. And for most people, this sort of response when you pull back is not a playful response. It's a defensive one. You're afraid or you're worried that your fingers are going to be bitten or whatever you have of value in your hand is going to be taken from you. So one thing you really want to work on is not pulling away so quickly in front of your husky puppy's face. So when they see fast movement, they're thinking, ooh, good time, this is fun. When you're jerking backwards, 
they think, ooh, maybe I should go for the hand because this might be playtime. So instead of pulling back, anytime your husky goes for your hand, just take that bite. Go ahead and let them bite you. Always be confident when you're working with your Siberian husky puppy. Put your hand out and anytime they go to bite it like this or they're like, dude, I want, I want to bite your hand and I want to get at it, be confident. Keep it out there. Always make sure when you take your hand back to your side, do it slowly. This is gonna teach your Husky that you are confident and they're gonna better understand that you're not messing around. You're not playing games. So many people contact us and say, hey, I have a problem with my Husky. I'm literally ready to give them away because all they do is bite me all the time. It's understandable. Siberian Huskies love to bite. It's one of their favorite pastime events. But in order to conquer it, you need to adhere to some tips and understand how doggos think and their small little coconuts. So try this at home. If you have a problem with your husky biting you or getting to your hands, leaving little shark marks all over your knucks, stop taking your hand and jerking it backwards in front of your husky puppy. Always be confident and keep that hand out there. And when they do bite you, when they do sink their teeth into your hand, that's when with a low tone you say, no. And you redirect them with something else like a treat or a chew toy. Yeah, that's a good girl. Let us know if this works for you. We've got tons of tips and tricks, over 600 videos to help you learn how to raise, train, and live with a Siberian Husky. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Huskaroni pizza tips, tricks, and information. And until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What, Dude? <laughs> that's right, whatever we make. Bones. Boom! Scooby da boop 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 ba da ba da ba doo ba doo 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 doo.